What's up, Sushi Squad? We back again with some more trove. Oh, no, excuse me if I look tired. It's because I am. I, I barely slept. I don't know why. I just woke up. But anyways, uh, Luxian's here uh, for 72 hours. And he's kind of throwing my videos for a little wild ride because I wanted to make a video of Trove on PS5 because I have a PS5. And yes, Trove works on next gen consoles. Ha ha. Guess who was right again? Um... And it runs really well too. So you can probably look forward to the PS5 Trove video tomorrow, I guess, because instead we've got Luxian today. Oh, and before we get started with today's video, I do gotta let you guys know, just because it's absolutely awesome. Uh, if you are new to Trove and you happen to be watching this video, you can use that sign up link that's down in the description. And then from that point on, anything that you end up buying out of the cash shop, I will make a percentage of it. It doesn't increase the price of anything. It basically is just an affiliate link that tracks any of your purchases. And it's an awesome way that you can support me by literally just playing the game and buying stuff that you would otherwise buy anyway. So thanks Game & Go for the opportunity. And thank you folks watching at home who have actually gone that extra mile and done that because it sincerely has helped me to pay the bills. Like I cannot stress enough how awesome it is that I can, you know, get a bit of extra money from Trove to end up just helping out with my daily living. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, a couple cool things to point out is that you can see now in the hub, there was a hotfix that ended up mentioning this. There are little Luxian babies wandering around. I guess it's supposed to be a way that it to tells the player that something special is going on. But personally speaking, I wish that when you went up to them, it would like, I don't know, there should be a text box that would show up. Stop squishing the child. There should be a text box that'll show up on top of them that says, Oh, Luxian's here. Try and find him because... Instead of him being in an obvious spot, they just hide him down here in the basement, which is weird. Uh, so another thing too that I want to mention, which is really, really cool. So you know how when this whole Luxian thing ended up showing up and we went under here and we started theorizing that perhaps there would end up being a shadow Luxian? Well, it's confirmed. Um, players ended up going into the game's code and although it's not technically in the game yet, it is in the game's code. Uh, I think it's called Corruxian, which is kind of stupid. I'd prefer if it was Corruption or something. I don't know. It's weird name, whatever. Um, but we don't know what his inventory is going to be or anything like that. But at the least, he's going to end up selling uh, a specific new type of dragon fragment that more than likely is going to end up making Corruxian a, a, a mount. Now, its name could change... Uh, a lot of times in Trove, you will actually end up looking into the data files and the name of something is completely different than what it turned out to be in game. Like there's a, a couple classes, for example, that actually have completely different names than the final product that we see in the game. But as far as the game data is concerned, it still has the same like original name and code. It's weird. But anyways, let's take a peek. Oh, oh, OK, that's not bad. That's actually some pretty expensive stuff. Okay, so we've got the uh, Golden Horde Dragon Soul, so you can buy 15 of these every time Luxian visits. Uh, and once you end up slowly getting more and more of them, you're going to end up getting various rewards out of it, including tons and tons of mastery. That's the biggest thing out of it. Um, but then you will also end up getting the dragon itself. So uh, there's a couple different forms of the dragon you'll get slowly over time, but this is going to end up being the maxed out one. Uh, the difference of the dragons is, you know, the early one won't be able to fly and then it'll be able to fly, but it won't be able to shoot fireballs. And then finally the final form uh, is going to be the one that you see before you here which not my favorite dragon honestly speaking i mean it's nice that we have luxian as a dragon and i'm excited to see what corruxian is i hope that he's not just a dark purple version of the exact same idiot uh then there's going to end up being crystalline cores you can only get well you can buy 10 of them five times and for 30 dragon coins a pop that's actually not that bad just because that's well, that's still pretty expensive as far as your dragon coins are concerned, but you are getting 50 crystalline core out of it, which is the equivalent of doing like 55 star dungeons. So that's not bad, I guess. The irony is that I don't know, like as far as just doing dragon, uh, dragon coin hourly challenges, I think it would probably end up equaling out to the same amount of time, wouldn't it? Like to get... 30 dragon coins would probably be the same amount of time 
if not take longer than getting 10 five star dungeons like it's it's weird i don't know like i i just personally have this big criticism with trove right now where the one thing that is out of date is the method of getting dragon coins you guys are always asking me like how do you get dragon coins more effectively buy them that's all you can do otherwise if you're doing it free to play it's time gated af and it sucks um so then there's lexi and style stash which these literally are going to give you like one mastery per uh they're just going to end up giving you various styles so you know you could get like a bunch of hat styles or whatever else uh the styles are going to be related to random seasonal event pinata or luxian equipment styles i don't know why it gives luxian equipment styles because you literally get his equipment styles out of consuming these dragon horde souls so that would kind of be counterproductive to end up getting one of his styles just because you didn't have them unlocked out of the dragon itself i don't know Anyways, uh, so the confetti jetties is a pair of wings, so that's cool. But the problem is that these are going to be an event item, uh, which means that it is not tradable. So you can see that all of these items I can continuously buy, which means that they're tradable. Not these ones down here, just the mounts and wings and whatever else. Uh, but the fact that the wings are not allowing me to buy them again is a good gauge to know Oh, okay, so it's untradeable. It's an untradeable item. Uh, so let me show you what these wings are like because they're still pretty cool, you know? I like the pinata wings, the confetti wings, and these these ones especially just because they're kind of lighter, more like pastel color. Is pastel the right color palette? I don't know. I like them, okay? So you could get those if you want. Uh, it's going to give you like 100 mastery or something, so that's good. Uh, then they're going to end up being the pinata, um, chaotic pinata mount. Did I do that right? Chaotic pinata. Um, this is... Oh, it says it's from the store. Yeah, right. I think this was from a weird pack. I don't know if the pack still exists. I forget whether it was from Chaos Chess or in the more section or... I honestly don't even know, dude. Like, this is such a forgettable mount, unfortunately, because it's just disgusting. Only a couple colors, and it's got a gigantic eyeball to stare into your very being. I don't like it it's gross but at the same time that's why i love it um <laughs> i don't get it do you want to buy it go for it i don't whatever um but the this one right here this one's gonna end up being pretty cool um i mean maybe this pinata is this thing actually worth money they like pinata oh my god well that certainly shows me. Apparently, everybody loves this thing. I think it's just because it's from a past event, which means, or past store item that I don't think is available anymore. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, I guess that's true. That'll end up keeping the value of this item up. I mean, are people going to end up buying it for this price? I don't know. I wouldn't just because it's disgusting, but maybe it's worth investing in this pinata honestly speaking and then there's going to be the uh lavatus beb beb be. i really like this hoverboard let's see if this is actually going for a lot just because of coolness sake no not that much but it's still worth your money to end up going for the no no because it would have to be double the price i guess technically speaking you're getting more money out of buying a couple of these than the pinata no i don't think you are I don't think it equals out but either way it's a surfboard it's really really cool um this was made by well he's a buddy of mine that i used to talk to not anymore uh he's a modder that had made uh the i think it was the atmos costume for the gunslinger if that's what it was called i hope i'm not messing that up but he made this surfboard to end up going with uh his gunslinger costume and it got added to the to the game and it's really really cool i just as far as the surfboards are concerned, I really like them in the game. And this one is one of my favorites. So highly recommend you go for that. Then there's going to end up being hoo hoo hoo, uh, the Cygnus ship. So this is, uh, this was a login item. So you can't get this anymore. Um, outside of Luxian, of course, I would assume, okay. The sale is actually a pretty decent price. 15 dragon coins a pop that's actually a pretty decent price as far as the money is concerned so it might be worthwhile to end up investing into this outside of the fact that keep in mind it's a sale people aren't going to want it as much as they want some of the other stuff and then the boat itself 230 yeah that sounds about right and 70 dragon coins so yeah i guess it's more worthwhile for your dragon coins to flux exchange ratio if you guys want to do that uh to end up going for the boats just because of the fact that they are um 
an item that was basically you would log in and you would end up getting it for free and well now it's just in Luxian's inventory because he is our local garbage man I'm trying to find a good pool that I can show you guys what this looks like I guess I'll just hop into team pixel unfortunately everyone's like following me and trying to stand on top of me that <laughs> That's the thing that I don't get. Like, I'm fine with you guys following me because I love you guys, but why do you guys stand inside me? There we go. This is actually a really cool boat because it's like a Gonda boat. Yeah. I remember when uh, players first found this in the game's code and we all kind of assumed that it was going to end up being out of Troves of Wonder just because of what it is. And it kind of made sense, but yeah. Actually, come to think of it, I think this was crafted out of the daily login tokens, wasn't it? Because the uh, sun on the back is the same as the uh, uh, something to do with the login uh, crafting table or something. I don't know. Now I'm rambling. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. Really appreciate it. Smash the like, sub for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. We do have the new merch, so it's a bit more subtle than my usual stuff. I'm still trying to work on getting a, a hat with my new logo, but it's going to take a little while. Either way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Sign on and stay epic, gamers.